to our service of worship. It is good that you have joined us to gather around the throne of grace, to listen to the scriptures read and proclaimed. Today, Mary Gunderson King, our pastoral associate, will bring the meditation, will share with us her insight into what it is that God is saying in the midst of our time. But let us all gather around that throne of grace, not only to hear the word, but to offer up our prayers, to listen to the very presence of God among us, feel the hand of God upon us, to know the blessing of God as it moves among us. Let us worship together. Let us praise God.
the commissioning of disciples and the ascension of our Lord. Mark sixteen fourteen to 20. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed his words by the signs that accompanied it. Let us now pray together. Ever-living God, your eternal Christ once dwelt on earth confined by time and space. Give us faith to discern in every time and place the presence among us of him who is head over all things and fills all, even Jesus Christ, our ascended Lord. Amen. I invite you now to prayer. Prayers of thanksgiving and rejoicing for all that God has done, all that God is doing. But also, let's come to intercede. Intercede for a nation that is struggling, a people that are struggling. Let's come to intercede for our leadership, for those who guide us. Let's pray for the church. Let's intercede for those who are hurting, those who are broken, those who are struggling, those who are in pain, those who are dispossessed, those who are mourning, those who are lonely. Let's bring them all before the Lord of the church whose power and grace washes over us to make all things new. Let us pray together. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Jesus I surrender. Oh, yeah.
read from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 6 through 19. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you, and I speak these things in the world so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but I'm asking you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. The word of God for the people of God. I have a soft spot in my heart for dandelions. As a child, I loved being able to blow those feathered seeds out into the wind, watching as they trusted themselves to it. They gave themselves to the care and direction of the wind, going wherever they needed to be. Some of those seeds, though, would hold tightly to their home base, not wanting to be released quite yet. But in time, they too would also give themselves to the wind and go out into the world, blessing the land with precious little yellow flowers. Given, we are given to the world, given to our family, given to our friends, given to our community, given by our God who says to us, You are mine. I could hold on to you tightly, never let you go. But I'm going to instead share you with the world. I'm going to give you to those in need. Will you trust me? We've watched a friend at Emmanuel's house struggled to allow himself to be in the care and guidance of God's hands. He wants to hold on tightly to his home base, which has so often been rooted in judgment and selfishness, his way or no way. Instead of making God his home base and then allowing God to give him back to a community in need. I find his wrestling match with God quite amusing as God does not give up 
in enfolding us in God's love, but as well does not give up in reshaping us. And so it is with great joy as I saw our dear friend start to plant himself in God's care to say, yeah, I'm yours. And then allow God to love through him. Our neighbor down the road from Emmanuel's house had a stroke last year and his wife also struggles with health issues. And so both of them were needing help with meals. They were needing help with community care. And our cynical friend started to reach out with love, with care, giving himself to his neighbors, giving his time and energy to his neighbors who were in great need. The other day we had soup and he came by and asked for two cups to go for his neighbors. It seems so little, but it's actually so huge as one who has spent his whole lifetime angry, not wanting to care for others, finally letting God give him love and then letting God give him to others who need love in the community. Will you trust me? I'm going to send you out into the world. I'm going to give you to a world in need. A world that is raging out of control. Will you trust me as I give you to those who need presence, who need to be seen, who need peace, who need to know that I love them? Mondays are always our crazy days at Emmanuel's house. The needs can be a range from refilling a laundry detergent bottle to assisting a family with a box of emergency food. A load of laundry dropped off. Another load just coming out of the dryer to be folded. Cliff, Andrew's here. Cliff knows exactly how to make coffee the way that Andrew likes it. Phone rings as folks call in for birth certificate assistance. The hustle and bustle not giving a moment's breath. Hazel was amongst those waiting to be served. I knew her from recovery Bible study at the jail. It was great to see her. There were a lot of other people. Hazel, I will be with you as soon as I can. It's okay, Miss Mary. I have about 30 minutes. I thought she was going to need some great assistance, another birth certificate request that would take some time. And to be honest, I was totally feeling stressed and not really wanting to give myself any more. I had other people waiting before her. It's okay, Miss Mary. I have about 30 minutes. I can wait. The moment finally came and I was free to give myself to Hazel. How can I help you? Miss Mary, can you pray with me? That's all she wanted. Someone to pray for her. Someone to pray with her. 
before she headed to work. Sometimes, most often, we give ourselves too quickly to the chaos, to the overwhelmingness of the world, forgetting that we can instead give ourselves to God's peace, God's grace, God's love, God's compassion. Give ourselves to the word. Trusting God as God centers us, grounds us, renews us, and then gives us back to the world. I had gotten all caught up in the chaos. And Hazel gave herself. Not realizing she was helping me to remember the center of God's amazing heart. Breath. Presence. Prayer. Giving ourselves to one another. Without really knowing, you have been journeying with Emmanuel's house as we walk alongside of another dear friend seeking new life. You have heard of the ups and downs as I have shared in past reflections. You have lifted this dear person in prayer as they try to find their way in this world, try to find their way to wholeness. We are given to this person. We are given to their journey. We are given by Jesus who gave himself to the world, gave himself to hold God's beloved in love and life. We have no idea how this journey will play out for our friend. But God is calling us to give. Give time. Give energy. Give presence. Give patience. Give compassion. Give care. And what a blessing that is, dear friends, to have have you a part of this journey with us for all of us together to give ourselves to living in the word and breath of God in time in energy in presence in lifting someone up May we trust God's presence and blessings as God sends us out to serve, to care, to lift up the weary, to lift up the brokenhearted. I want to close this out in a prayer by Walter Brueggemann. May it hold you and sustain you and renew you and call you out into a world of great need. It is called you and therefore us. Let us pray together. The day demands that we begin in praise of you. For the day is yours and we are yours. We could not live the day without reference to you, without your gifts, without your commands. We begin with praise for the gift of life, for the gift of our life together, the gift of life in your world, with all your beloved creatures, for the gift of life in your church, with your steady recital of wonders, you, you alone, only you, 
you who made and makes and remakes heaven and earth. You who executes justice and gives food we know not how. You who sets prisoners free and sights the blind. You who lifts up and watches and upholds. You who reigns forever. You and therefore us. You except we turn to lesser trusts. All of us with our trust in powers. You except we turn to ignoble aims. All of us preoccupied with ourselves. You, except we invest in our little controls and our larger fears. All of us marked by anxiety. And then we watch as you ease us out of anxiety, as you heal ourselves turned anew, as you topple powers and bring new changes. For trust, truthful public life. You accept, but then finally, always, everywhere you. And us on the receiving end. And we are grateful. Amen. When we come to worship, we recognize how blessed we are, how much God has given to us, how we have been blessed from the very 
foundations of creation, not to mention the gifts of Jesus Christ our Lord, who has redeemed us, restored us. I invite you now to give, share, share your gifts and your resources for the ministries of the church, for the outreach of the gospel, for the proclamation of the good news. We pray that you will give and give generously and God will bless you richly. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all I need. I rest in green meadows and beside peaceful streams. He leads me, he restores my soul. my shepherd in his name I take the paths of the righteous and each step of the way he leads me he restores my soul even when I walk through the darkest valley I will not be my shepherd, he's preparing a feast for me in the presence of my own enemies. He leads me, he restores my soul. It has been good to have you with us, to share in the very presence of God with all God's people. As we've gathered around the throne of grace to, to offer up our prayers, as we have sung the hymns of the faith, as we have listened to the scriptures read and proclaimed, it has been a time of blessing. It is our hope that you will have felt that blessing and it will have touched your life. And now I, I pray that you will go forth into the world in peace. Go praising God. Go celebrating what the Son has done. Go in the awareness that the Holy Spirit goes with you. Go in the name of God, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.